Well, I'm Phil Johnston from uh, Sage and Autonaut, and we're very excited to be here at NOC today. It's a great event, and we're also especially excited because we've got, we've got projects launching with, with NOC uh, for smart onboard processing of uh, visual imagery from a, a manned service vessel being, being Autonaut. So we're, we're uh, thrilled to be here. Yeah, so I'm Geraint West from uh, Soundline International Limited and uh, we've been coming to these events, this is the third one of course, um, but it cements our, our close relationship, we have the NOC on a range of projects, so we've now worked together on a couple of Innovate UK projects, but also uh, an en Energy Technology Institute project around carbon capture storage. It's a perfect partnership in terms of the fact that we produce a lot of the, the technology for positioning and communications for AUVs uh, and communications with unmanned surface vessels. And of course NOC is a, a world leader in this area. So uh, as I say, it's, it's an area that we've worked well together in, in the past and we look forward to working together in the future. It's great to be back for the third year at the Maritime Autonomy and Technology Showcase. It's a great opportunity for like-minded people across industry, academia and defence to share their thoughts and developments and projects on autonomous and unmanned systems in the maritime sector. Hi there, it's Ian Vincent uh, from Planet Ocean and also a director at EcoSub Robotics. Uh, we're here showcasing the EcoSub technology. EcoSub's been developed in collaboration with Planet Ocean and also National Oceanography Centre. Uh, the Mars Group here has been working alongside uh, Planet Ocean, which is an SME, uh, to develop some autonomous underwater vehicles. Uh, two vehicles which are two and a half thousand and five hundred meter rated micro AUV systems. Uh, we've also worked quite closely in collaboration with BP to develop systems that are fit for use in either oil spill environments or uh, for hydrocarbon detection. Uh, we're here at MATS today uh, to really kind of showcase what we've been doing, the work we've been engaged in and also the projects we've got in the future. Uh, we're looking to increase the artificial intelligence and autonomy of the systems and to really kind of uh, advance the use of autonomous technology uh, in the marine environment.